Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some OCR FSMQ lessons and today we are talking about all things things trig. So in the last episode we talked about uh, Soccer Tour and today we're going to be talking about the sine rule, the cosine rule as well as the area of a triangle. Now it's not the area of a triangle that you think, uh, half base times the height, it's uh, using trigonometry. So half AB sine C, but we'll come on to that in a second. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a bit of a cough at the moment, if uh, you haven't noticed in the last couple of videos. But let's get into things. Uh, first, appreciate the geometry of any triangle. So far, you've only studied right-angled, uh, if you if you'd seen Soccer Tour for the first time. The corners are in capitals A, B, C, and the sides are in a lower uh, case opposite to the corner. So there you go, uh, capital A with his buddy uh, little a, capital B with his buddy little b and capital C with his buddy little c. So the sine rule states that a over sine a equals b over sine b which equals c over sine c. Now unfortunately you don't get given this in an exam but uh, it's easy enough to remember uh, and you'll only ever need to use two of them at a time. <coughs> Pardon me. So there's a b c and obviously a matches up with his uh, diagonal buddy over here and B matches up with his diagonal buddy, and C matches up with his diagonal buddy. And I'm probably going to draw those in now. No, I'm not. Anyway. But here's an uh, example of it. Have a go at it first, if you want to. But if not, uh, I'll take you through it now. So work out the following missing lengths. So we've got uh, two angles, uh, 65 uh, degrees and 40 degrees. And we've been given a length of 12.6 there. Uh, I'll just underline those as well. But we're wanting to find out B. So the, the the formula here, we've got two sides and two angles. The only one we can use is uh, the sine rule, which is A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute your numbers in, just drop them in where you see them, like that. So 12.6 over sine 40 equals B over sine 65. Then rearrange it, so I'd spit that uh, sine 65 up there and just leave a B on this side. And you're left with that. And I haven't worked it out. But type that into your calculator. And I don't know what it'll be. But it should be fairly similar to 12.6 by the looks of this. Maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but it's up to you. As long as you've typed that sum into your calculator. And you are in degrees. You will get the right answer. Here's another one. <coughs> so if you want to have a go. Pause now. But now I'm going to have a look at it. So we've been given two sides again. 4 and 7 and an angle of 26. So apply your formula A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute your numbers in so you're left with that. Now then you want to take that sine X up there, you want to move the 4 in the opposite direction down there and the sine 26 up there to get the sine X on its own. So you end up with that and you type that into your calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees and you'll get the right answer and then you must do the shifts in of that to get the degrees. Shift sin or as it's known sin to the minus one and that'll get you the right answer. But now we're going to talk about the cosine rule. So there's where triangle ABC with the diagonal buddies. Uh, a squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So, but you are given that in the formula booklet. Starts off like Pythagoras and then finishes with the angle that you started at. So there you go. Um, and you only ever use the, the cosine rule if uh, you have an angle trapped between two sides or you, you were given all three sides. So uh, I, like, I like to call this the scissor method. Uh, you know, if you can make a scissor uh, with the angle and the two sides, and that's cosine. And if you're given all three sides, so A, B, and C, uh, then it's also cosine rule. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, I can make a bit of a scissor with this. Uh, that's a very badly drawn scissor. I've got an angle trapped in between two sides, and I want to find this side over here. So it's going to be cosine rule. So A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Substitute your numbers in like that. Calculate, so you get a squared equals 89.04 something something something, 
And then, obviously, your final answer for A would be the square root of that, which is about 9.4 centimetres. So that's that. Let's do another one. Uh, we're wanting to find the angle this time, so we've been given all three sides, so that's scream and cosine rule that way. So we apply your formula. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now I want this cos A on its own, so I'm going to have to take those two over the other side. Uh, but this is a minus at the moment, so I think I might take that over the other side and bring the A squared over. So then I'll get 2BC cos A. equals uh, b squared minus c squared sorry b squared plus c squared minus a squared and that will equal that and if I want that cos a on its own I need to take that 2bc under there and call it a divide take that off there so cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc so that's just an easy way in an exam um, to uh, rearrange it. Now anyway, uh, substitute. Oops, 4 squared equals, uh, uh, see I haven't rearranged it here but in an exam I probably would have. Calculate that one cos x on its own, manipulate that, uh, so I'll divide both sides by 112 and cos x equals that and now I'll need to do the shift cos of that to get about 30 degrees. But uh, yeah, you need to, on your calculator, shift and then cos and then ants and you'll get about 30 degrees on that one. And we can work out the area of a triangle using trig. Now, I think you're given this uh, formula in the AQA GCSE Further Maths um, formula book, but you're not given this in the OCR uh, FSMQ formula book. So area equals half AB sine C. So there's B, there's C, and there's the angle there. Just like the cosine rule, you can work out the area when you uh, have the angle trapped between the two sides. So uh, this would be A and B in that case and the angle here would be sine C. That's just the way it works. And as you can see, they're all different letters, just like in the formula. So that's how you do that. Uh, let's do <coughs> the area of this triangle. So 6 centimetres, 75 degrees and 9 centimetres. Half A, B, sine C. Substitute your numbers in. You get that. And calculate the answer. You get about 26.1 centimetres squared. Nice and easy. And that is that. So that is a very quick tour of uh, all things trig. And the next lesson we're going to be talking about trigonometric identities, which is uh, the first bit of new knowledge really in the uh, OCR FSMQ course for uh, trigonometry. So hopefully you'll join me for that. I hope you found this helpful. Please leave a like down below if you did. Leave your feedback down below as well. Um, if you need any help, just give us a shout. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of days' time for the next video, which is Trig Identities. See you then.